Now it's just the nervous stage between uh, the record being done and waiting for it to come out. I'm afraid of some of the feedback, you know, yeah, from some the of the people the like, did you write the song about me? I'm like, I don't know, did I? Yeah. I think it's the first time we wrote a piss record. The whole time is just mean. We usually yeah, try pretty, to be positive. This is a pretty aggressive one all the way through. We're still a positive band, but this one, we, we really wrote about um, a lot of struggles we had the last couple of years. And, um, we put it on this record for we didn't let anything uh, hold back on this one, and I think going back with Joey Sturgis after so long, we had a lot of Joey time that we missed built up in us, and he had a lot of Miss May stuff that he missed built up in him. So we gotta really let a lot of ideas out that have been building up over the years, and um, it came out really, really strong. I think the um, it brought the band closer together because we all went through the same thing. This is the first time it wasn't really um, just me going through stuff or one person go through stuff, we all went through the same thing, so it brought us more like brothers, which is weird because we've been touring forever, and so it's weird that, that we can actually become even more closer than we have been, but we have, it's about awesome. We started writing this one, well we learned how to do the whole laptop shabam recording thing, and um, right after Rise of Lion, we went and did European festivals, and uh, the cool thing was we demoed all these songs with the name of where we wrote them at, so there were songs that were called like Hellfest or Amsterdam or all this stuff. So like we, we started demoing right after Rise of the Lion, which was nice because we never had that capability before. So I had, I think we had 25 pieces of song, like finished songs um, coming into the studio, which usually we come in with like three ideas. We're like, we don't got nothing. Let's figure this out. Yeah. So it was nice to actually have stuff. The recording part, it just kind of sprung up on us. It was like, okay, you have, you have a month here. So this yeah. is, if you're going to do it, it has to be right here. So we are like, okay, we'll be ready by then. Yeah, they're like, oh, you guys do a main stage warp Tour, and you should have a new record by that. Well, okay, I guess all these songs we're writing, let's finish them up. <laughs> the whole song is about just getting pushed your edge, because we've been nice guys for the longest time, and we get stepped on a lot. So like, this is, it's just like getting pushed to your breaking point. And so we told the director that, and he sent back that treatment of, this guy works at this coffin place and gets mad at his boss. But see, at the end he wakes up, so it didn't really happen. I, 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 I think it plays the, the story out really well, because I didn't want people to read it and be like, oh, they hate everything, they're trying to, they're like a bunch of mean guys. It's not, it's not, it's totally misses the idea of the song, so. Uh, we actually didn't have to get inside of the coffin. Yeah, I wasn't even there, I didn't even see the fire. Yeah, they did all that without us. We were we were hard at work on another video the next day, so, so yeah. they got to do the cool part and blow stuff up without Wait us. Wait see the next one. Yeah. <laughs> we like disturbing videos. <laughs> What's up? It's Levi. And Ryan. From Miss May I and subscribe to Louder Noise, the loudest noise on earth.